everybody, uh, and welcome to the uh, student research competition uh, final presentations and, and final round of judging. Uh, so uh, the student research competition is a competition for uh, graduate and undergraduate student research. Uh, it's actually part of a larger ACM competition that includes, uh, includes uh, students who are, are part of SIGGRAPH, but also the other uh, ACM special interest groups, SIG Chi, SIG C, all of, all of the, the ones that ACM has. And so at the first stage of that competition, each of the SIG in their conferences hold a student research competition, much like this one. Uh, and so uh, we had originally uh, 50 uh, submissions this year uh, to the student research competition. Uh, from those 50, uh, we uh, selected 24 uh, to participate on site uh, in the uh, in the student research um, in, in the on site student research competition uh, and uh, and so during the poster session days yesterday and the day before uh, our seven judges uh, went to visit each of of those posters and uh, hear from uh, from the students themselves what uh, about their research and. Uh, and as a result of those, uh, of, of those two days of judging, uh, we narrowed the field down to three undergraduate and three graduate uh, student uh, posters, which uh, you will hear presentations uh, from today. Uh, and so our judges are here once again. Uh, they also will listen to the presentations and, and based on, uh, on those presentations and the work that's presented, uh, we'll make a determination of, uh, of the, the, the ranking of third, second, and first in, in both the undergraduate and the graduate student categories. Um, and uh, at this point, every one of the uh, presenters that you see today uh, has already won something. Uh, we just don't know what quite yet. Uh, so uh, ACM and Microsoft Research uh, sponsored the competition. Um, uh, has an award of uh, $200 for uh, each third place finisher, uh, both graduate and undergraduate, uh, $300 for each second place finisher, um, and $500 for each first place finisher. Uh, in addition, the first place uh, um, student in the undergraduate and the graduate research uh, categories uh, are then uh, participate in the next round of the competition, which is to compete against the students from the other uh, special interest groups. Uh, so so they, the, those top two will be the representatives of graphics to the rest of, of ACM. Uh, so uh, should be pretty, uh, pretty exciting. Uh, the way we're going to organize uh, the presentations, uh, the, the free undergrads will go first, and then the free graduate students. Uh, there will be about a 10 minute presentation, uh, some time for questions, uh, and then after all of the presentations, uh, the judges and I will confer briefly, hopefully you'll stick around, uh, and then we'll present the awards. Um, and so our first presentation uh, is, uh, um, at the undergraduate level, is XPixel, a uh, pixel shader for multiplex image hiding on consumer 3D flat panel display. Hello everyone, uh, I'm Hisataka Suzuki from Kanagawa Institute of Technology, Japan. I'm very happy to be here today and thank you for giving me this opportunity. And today I would like to talk about this topic, X-Pixel, pixel shader for multiplex mesh hiding in consumer 3D flat panel. So, uh, before straight to talk, Please let me introduce myself. Uh, I, I have three brothers and sisters, and one sister, sorry. And my father is Pakistani, and my, my mother is Japanese. And now I'm studying information media in Shirai Lab. And um, Shirai Lab is um, interested in the information technologies and virtual reality and and so, entertainment system and so on. So, first I would like to show concepts 
um, short video for uh, making it easy and understand my concept. So here is the uh, brothers uh, playing game, but they start to fighting over the game remote. And this is, I think, a uh, combination in uh, everybody's living room. So how can we stop this? And I suggest to stop this issue with XPixel. So what is XPixel? XPixel is a pixel shader technology that can show multiple images on one screen at the same time. So XPixel name comes from like extended pixel, and X4 system is a frame pattern editor for 3D and extra image also. I can show you a demonstrate also. So here you don't see an image, but uh, with the polarization feature, uh, you can see image <laughs> from here. So here, similar reality works about matrix this way, and I would like to come uh, talk about time shifter based technology, uh, like smeared illumination by TextBase app is a SIGGRAPH uh, 2004, I think, and um, this is uh, with the smeared illumination, they realize uh, matrix hidden imagery with time shifter based actually. And third eye and final view also um, realize matrix imaginary with time shifter based, but it must show two images for naked eye. And also uh, for my challenge uh, is that adding a new value of 3D devices and Realizing a matrix hidden imagery on consumer CD flat panel without any hardware modification can be uh, adding a new value of CD devices, I think. So, also, and of course, providing content creation environment for wider creator is needed. And first, I need to talk about script technology, which is a pioneer of pixel technology. It's uh, realized by Koki Nagano in 2010, it's a multiplex imaginary by two projectors. And his colleague Utsugi has realized hidden imaginary with two projectors. It's called Scripter H. So Scripter H has a um, hidden image technique is this. Like, and I will talk about this with the XPixel technology also. And 2 by 3 d is a one of application of um, Scripter H. So uh, for the naked eye, it shows the 2D screen, and for the hidden, uh, for the grass, with the grass, you can see 3D, 3D images. And it's, it was good for theater, but not suitable for consumer usage. So about Scripter H, uh, Scripter and Scripter H doesn't need synchronized devices, but uh, it's only need polarization filter to s separate two channels. So it's good potential compared with the time shutter base. But however, it still needs specific products such as DMD projector polarization supported screen. So with, uh, I will t talk about algorithm of X pixel. So it is uh, consists of three steps, and the first step is contrast compression. So with and the contrast compression, we have to compress two images contrast for uh, to make zero to two five five pixel um, color depth range. So uh, here uh, we have an alien which we um, say brand ratio. With uh, moving this aiming, we can show, uh, we can change like uh, hidden image more brighter and hidden image darker, and also to the naked image darker, to naked image brighter. So it, uh, 
with this, we can change the sharing ratio to images. And next step is the inverse gamma correction. With the inverse gamma correction, um, we combine a, image A and image B's negative image to cancel a B image. And also gamma correction is needed. And last um, is the even odd selection. So we use line by line uh, 3D display. It's, it shows uh, normally it is used for parallax images. So um, R is the right eye image and L is the left eye image for normal, but for X pixel we can show two different images. So uh, like this, uh, left side, left hand is a naked image and right hand is a hidden image. And if we show this, uh, these both at the same time on one screen, it, can, it shows a, a naked image. And as I talk about the content creation, I have, um, I developed this with Unity. So just the three steps needed, to import package and, and set images and just run. And here is uh, several uh, applications like merge language presentation and we call UbiCore is uh, uh, hiding QR code, hidden QR code. Uh, it, it, but um, QR code can be scanned with the, your iPhone and smartphones also. And AR markers can be scanned also. There are various applications of and for content creation tools, we now have XNA, Unity, and processing also. And now we are developing PHP for a web, web application. And we are going to develop uh, FPGA hardware. So as a conclusion, um, we are realized multiple hidden imagery on the consumer CD flat panel without any hardware modification. And we also provide a content creation environment for wider creators. So I believe uh, it can, it is a, it, it adding a new value of 3D devices. So thank you for this presentation. So if you have a question, uh, walk up to the microphone. Um, we do have time for some questions. Uh, while, while those of you out there are thinking about it, I, I have one question. Uh, so uh, your initial motivating uh, video was about uh, you know, two brothers uh, uh, fighting over the, the TV, um, but they, they both were sort of fighting over the same game remote. Have you, have you thought about ways that you might multiplex that as well, or just, uh, just the display size? So, so what about, I mean, so you've got got uh, two, able to display two things, but you still, uh, you, you have all of the other pieces of the system are, are not shared. Have you thought about ways to, to, to do sharing um, between, between devices? Devices? Um, Remotes? How, 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 how would you, have you thought about how you would uh, have the remote uh, uh, control the, the, the two screens um, so that I don't start controlling yours and you start controlling mine. Okay, uh, there are two prayer modes also. And um, for now there is two prayer modes separate the uh, display actually. And like that, um, we need a new mode for X-Pixel actually to control 